Imagine mule deer, elk, and antelope all trying to make a living or raise their young off of this. That's the case in parts of the Platte Valley near Saratoga, where the Wyoming Game and Fish Department recently conducted a tour of mule deer habitat to illustrate how low-quality habitat has contributed to a sharp drop in mule deer numbers there. The tour is part of an ongoing work by the Platte Valley Mule Deer Working Group to reverse mule deer population declines in the region. Saratoga game and fish biologist Will Schultz contrasts the difference between healthy and struggling habitat at an enclosure on a critical mule deer habitat area east of Saratoga. We have an enclosure here that's been in place for about a decade and inside is a uh, sagebrush plant and a antelope bitterbrush plant. And, and these are two important browse species for mule deer on this crucial winter range. If you compare the two plants that have not received any browsing for the past 10 years to uh, the sagebrush plant on the right uh, that has been continuously browsed for the past uh, 60 or 70 years, note a significant difference in the amount of forage available. At one time it was a much larger, uh, very vigorous plant and over time uh, has become uh, less vigorous, decadent, and, and now is uh, just about dead. Fawn to doe ratios in the Platte Valley have dropped from 80 per 100 does in 1980 to the mid-50s in the past five years. There are additional reasons. Summer forage in many places is just as bad. There's also predation and energy development. But when much of what big game animals have to eat is substandard, herd numbers will decline. Crucial mule deer range like this is responsible for providing a, a maintenance uh, diet for mule deer as they're subsisting throughout the winter. Mule deer will lose weight in the winter time because their metabolism has slowed down, uh, as well as the nutrition content of, of winter forage is not as, as high as what we would find on summer ranges. But certainly a winter range situation like this uh, where we have poor nutrition, it's going to mean lower birth weight fawns if they're born at all and, and lead to a reduction in the population. More than just moisture is needed. Possible solutions? Chemical treatments to kill off older shrubs and allow growth of new shrubs. In some cases, prescribed burning is an option, and juniper thinning allows moisture to get to more desirable plant and shrub species. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.